Miss Fujinomiya, we've been expecting you. Thank you. Man, this place is stuffy out the ass. Whew. How's the view? Crystal clear. Gotta hand it to the Daidoji. <laughs> this really is just like 007. If you say so. We're about to set foot inside. If we start to lose connection, let me know. Okay. Look after those two Kiryu-san. And be careful. Will do. All right. Let's get this done. <sighs> Damn. Suit's gonna suffocate me, and these socks make my feet feel all itchy. And why doesn't everyone just wear sandals? Ugh. Can you grow up? We're on a mission. Right this way, Miss Fujinomiya. Mm, wonderful. Well, Kiryu san, care to be my arm candy tonight? As you wish. Whoa. Oh, damn. That was cool. Uh, hey, guys, what, what do I get to do? I don't know. Hold my drinks. What? <laughs> oh, come on! We're on the elevator. You still with us? A little spotty here and there, but it's fine. The security at District 5 was nothing compared to this. No kidding. Chichon really came through for us. Thank you for waiting. Floor seven and a half. Good luck to you. So, the casino's just beyond, huh? Right. The real game's about to begin. This is way cheesier than I imagined. No, this place is definitely catering to the VIPs. Take a look. What are those? Gaming plaques for all the high rollers. One right there is a hundred grand. <laughs> for one bet? Fuck that. Kasuga, you seeing this? Yeah. Anyone look like the kind of guy Wong To might approach? Someone really raking it in? Not yet. Hey, handsome. <laughs> you kill you, son! What the hell are you doing? Just giving you a little change of scenery. <laughs> Thank you. By doing that? How thoughtful. Well, we looked around, but didn't see anyone winning big or making a show. Most of the guests here are Asian. And look, they're all having a blast. Hey, I just overheard some of the other guests. Apparently the owner's gonna show up soon. The owner? 
That has to be Wang To, right? Yep, sure is. Seems he's here just about every day. You said soon. How soon are we talking? Well, I can't say for sure. <sighs> Actually, yes, I can. He's here. That our man? Welcome to the Nirvana Hotel. Your family's contributed so much to us over the years, Chitosi Fujinomiya. Oh, and our unannounced guest, Ichiban Kasuga. Nice to meet you. <laughs> So you knew from the start. And I thought you might have noticed. Before you even stepped inside, we already run all sorts of body checks on you. No reason we can't sniff out a few spy gadgets, especially here. After all, we welcome VIPs from every corner of the globe. No, for VIPs, this crowd sure doesn't act like it. They're a special breed. The guests here have grown tired of the usual luxury, you see. They come here because they want to satisfy their superiority. Over what? Over this whole idealistic country. That's what. These people share a common thread. They were all chasing after the great American dream. A dream that prizes machismo and freedom over all else. The America they sought was too good to be true. Yet all the while, it told them they were vastly inferior. So to rid themselves of that feeling, they worked their fingers to the bone. But by the time their hard work might have finally paid off, the America they knew was long gone. This new America valued diversity, condemned masculinity, and now more than anything, put caution over freedom. Right. And you're dealing out the American dream in spades, is that it? Exactly. This is the America they held in their hearts. A place of promise they secretly hated just as much as they sung its praises. And we let our guests fulfill their hearts' desires to the absolute fullest. Quite a concept, wouldn't you say? Enjoy yourselves. I'm sure you'll agree. Unfortunately, we're not here for that. We're here for you. Well, that's quite the honor. You're most welcome. Especially this Kasuga I've been hearing so much about. Might I ask that he join us as well? Tell him to stay put. They're up to something. No. Whatever his goal is, he's threatening Kasuga right now. He's saying if he doesn't come... We'll all die. <gasps> ah. <laughs> I see you know how this works. That's it then. You get all that? Yeah. I'll head up right now. Ah. Seems he's here. Jay, you guys all right? All good. <laughs> I swear, I will never get used to this sort of thing. You don't think? Glad you could make it. Welcome, Ichiban Kasuga. Thanks for the invite. There's a lot I need to ask you. Not when I have questions for you. And I'm sure you know what those are. Akane-san, right? We're here for the same thing. That's fine. But it's a little loud here. Please. Why don't we take this to the back of the house? Drinks are, of course, on me. Not gonna let us enjoy the place a bit? We're here as your guests, after all. 
My apologies. However, a minute with me is rather expensive. Suffice to say, you might as well have hit the jackpot. Aren't we lucky? Just putting it out there. Anyway, let's go. Please. What the? Oh, wait, wait. This is it. This is the big boss's office? I heard of cutting corners, but man. We got an all access tour of your friends, the Barracuda's place, the other day. Their boss's pad is straight out of a mafia movie. Guess you like to keep things simple, huh? A long time ago. I was desperate to surround myself with expensive things. I worked for my money, so why not? But at some point, I came to see the truth of it all. If it had a price, I could get it. Whatever I wanted, whenever I wanted it. As long as I was sure of that, the possessions didn't matter. Have, have not, it makes no difference. This is all I need. The things that get the job done. For me, that's this desk, this chair, and this computer. The people out there rejoice and wallow over dice and cards. And with every passing bet, there's still none the wiser. So maybe the customer isn't king. But all that aside, I can't say I'm one for looking down on people. <laughs> Perhaps I said too much. I doubt there's very many who could relate. Now. To the matter at hand. Ichiban Kasuga, you're the estranged son of Akane, the director of the Palikana Orphanage. Do I have that right? Actually, I'm still trying to confirm that myself. But yeah, probably. We're looking for Akane as well. If you know her whereabouts, I ask that you please tell us. Naturally, you won't leave empty handed. Sorry, but I don't know. <laughs> Even if I did, I wouldn't tell you. Huh. You seem confident in that. Here to put it to the test? Huh? What do you say? <laughs> like it even matters. You fellas better get ready. Let's go. What? Sure, I'll play. Ah. 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 
friggin' stance! He can't land a single hit! Attack without thinking, he's gonna dodge every last one. Time to go all out! Lucky until now. But that luck's about to run out. Impossible! There's no way you're on my level! Interesting. I may have underestimated you. What's the hold up? Well, let's go! I can do this! We can do this anytime! <laughs> better than I thought. Who knew I had it in me? Ugh. Ugh. Impossible. Just who are you? <laughs> Looks like your numbers were off a bit, huh? Finally hash things out. You've got a lot to tell us, after all. Yeah. I want to know why you're after Akane-san. What are you gonna do once you find her? Also, who the hell told you I was her son? Maybe try one question at a time. Oh, it's your pick. You're telling me either way. Look, you're all out of chips at this point, see? Mata. Wangto, right? So then should I assume you're the boss of the Ganja? More like... Commander. Oh hey, my bad. All right, Mr. Commander. Why go through all this trouble to get to Akane-san? She's just the director of some orphanage. What's a nice lady like her got to do with you? Better answer while it's still me asking the questions. Kiryu-san's not as friendly as I am. You were tougher than I expected. So I'm actually a little worn out. But don't worry. A few minutes with me, and you'll practically be singing. Look, I'd prefer giving that mug of yours a break. Besides, you've got your boys watching you. Making you cry out in the open like this seems a little cruel, don't you think? I'd rather not embarrass you. We were asked to look for the old lady. 
It's the same with the Barracudas. It's a... a request from the Overseer. Overseer? What do you mean? Aren't you the Overseer here? I'm not talking about some pit boss who runs things like the Nirvana. I mean the Overseer of this whole state. Wait, all of Hawaii? The Ganja and the Barracudas may seem like competition on the surface, but in reality, we're all just cells of the Overseer. In the end, he's the one pulling the strings. <sighs> that meddlesome woman. She made off with the Overseer's treasure. If we were to get it back, then he'd owe us for all it's worth. In fact, I'm sure he'll pay that and then some. The hell? Huh? Hey, sit down! <笑>老板会成倍给您的可不只是帮他干活的报酬背叛时需要付出的代价也是翻倍的你小子难道是老板那边的奸细你已经背叛了的事很快就会传到老板手下的耳朵里接下来就由我来举火为号吧Hey, say something we can understand. understood him. What was he saying? That my betrayal would be known by all. Overseer included. So the guy who jumped, he was one of the Overseer's spies. What else did he say? He said something about setting off a signal, and he jumped. A signal? Then is that why he jumped? Was his death the signal? My son's in danger. My son! What? Hurry up and untie them! My boy needs them now! Wait, huh? I, but... I'm not too clear on it, but do what he says. It seems like an emergency. Oh, if you say so, Kiryu-san. Please, let me see my son. He's in the penthouse. It's, it's on the top floor. Fine, but not on your own. We're coming with you. Then this way! Hurry! Hey, 
How old is your son? He's only six. His mother left him some time ago. I've got a sitter with him. Six, huh? It's just a little guy. We're too late. My son's already been taken. Then, are these guys? That's right. More pawns of the Overseer. Seems I have no one left to trust.你到底在做什么？哈哈，比起你儿子，还是先担心一下你自己吧。你说什么？我会让你儿子死在你的眼前，然后再杀了你。所以你儿子现在没事的，嘿嘿嘿嘿，放心啦。Any idea where they're taking your son? No. And regardless, we need to get far away from this place. Please, you have to get me out of here. I'll tell you whatever you want. Right now, there's no knowing which of my men I can trust. Here, you son. Let's start by getting out of this hotel. Come on, we need to find a safe place to lay low. guy might have been an ally, you know? At this point, who's to say? We've no time to worry about him. Wamto's left the hotel with Kasuga and his crew. They're heading south. So make sure you tell the cops they went north. Got it. Over here! Someone just fell out the window! Come quick! I've never seen anything like this! 
Hello? Yeah, Eichon? Kasuga-san, the news is all over the internet. What happened out there? An employee was thrown out of a window at the Nirvana Hotel. Kasuga. Sorry, h -on. We'll talk later. The police! They're taking off! What's that mean? Simple. We're on our own. If the police didn't see it, it's not their problem. Damn it! That bastard. Is there anyone he doesn't control? Hey, tell me. Have you always been public enemy number one? No! I was... The Overseer played me! I never expected this! Well, maybe you should have. Shut your mouth! That's enough. Now stay calm. We'll make it out of this. Moment of truth. Let's go! Okay. Okay. Let's go! 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 Let's Here's the one! Hey! You freak found me! Oh, oh yeah. yes, thank you! Delivery! Thank you so much for waiting! Count on ya! Thanks, yo! <laughs> let's go, let's go! I won't pull back. All right, we did it. <sighs> yeah. Ah! For a son of a bitch! Ah! Hey, Wong Tu! Shit! chi -chan. You got a bandana or something? We gotta tie this up and stop the bleeding. Yeah, hold on. I think I had something. Wong Tou's key here, and we'll need the time to talk. What's more, we need someone we won't get attacked. Well, for that, we'll want to get ourselves a car. Still, let's start by getting out of here. Hey, Ichiba, we're moving Wong. Give me a hand here. <laughs> Yo, Ichiban, let's stop here for now. Give him a sec to breathe. Hey, you all right, Wong To? I'm feeling a bit lightheaded now. To think everything was fine before you all showed up. Yeah, must be hard. 
All right, I'll find us a car. No point trying to get him up on his feet again. Good plan. We'll get him patched up once we're at the safe house. Appreciate it. I'll come back as soon as I can. Yeah, Godspeed. Are you sure he won't betray you? <laughs> hey, maybe you can't exactly trust anyone right now, but Tomi will come through. Oh, well. Even if he does keep his word, it won't mean all that much to a dead man. Well, you look all right to me. Just hang in there. There's a lot we still need to hear from you. <laughs> that would be... You were looking for Akane-san. That's because this overseer asked you to, right? You said Akane-san's on the run with some kind of treasure. Yeah. Who is this guy? Just who is this overseer? The overseer... He's got more control over the island than I never thought possible. He placed spies in my organization. Spies in the police. He's even got insiders with the Barracudas. And their loyalty, the lengths they'll go to, it's the real deal. You saw it, didn't you? The way that man jumped back there. He gave his life just so I'd be branded a traitor. For no reason other than calling me out. The Overseer. The one in charge. Is Bryce. Bryce? As in the Sage of Polycana. Conniving old bastard. He's the one who had us do the search. No way. Uh, I met him. He's the one behind this? Why? After everything Akane-san's done, all she wanted was to help people. And now, an entire religion's coming after her? Why? I mean, wasn't Polycana... Akane-san believed in that stuff too, right? Seriously? Why is Akane-san so important to these guys? See for yourself. We caught this on camera about two weeks back. Polycana. It's their orphanage, right? Sure seems like it. Yeah. This is where she worked. Look here, Kasuga. The picture that Daidoji faction gave me is the same photo. Whoa, you're right. Hey, tell me, who's this girl with Akane-san? She's not just some girl. You see, Bryce is really after her. Uh -huh. Her name is Lonnie. This island. Bryce may think of himself as its new god, but she could take that all away. The girl's his Achilles' heel. Knowing how Bryce works, he'll do whatever it takes to track her down and snuff her out. Snuff her out? A poor little girl? <sighs> you said her name's Lonnie? What the hell's Bryce want with a kid like her? What's killing her gonna solve? Hang on. First, who is Bryce, really? How does one man control all of Hawaii's underworld? Care to explain that? I don't know the details myself. By the time I started gaining prominence here, 
Bryce was already the sage of Polycana. And well in charge. Right, okay. And how far back was that? This was 30 years ago. Fair to say Bryce was always here. His control over the underworlds lasted at least all this time. And get this. He looked exactly the same back then. 30 years ago? Wait, then how old is he now? Sounds like he's easily over 90. If that's really the case, he must be some kind of monster. Back in my early days, I had my sights set on expanding to America's mainland. In a sense, Hawaii was supposed to be a sort of stepping stone. Things were going well. I had driven out the existing Chinese presence and become the king of a new regime in Hawaii. And it's been Ganja ever since, huh? That's right. But something occurred, just as I was about to make my next move. You see, it was then I got a visitor. I speak for the Overseer. That was how he greeted me. The Overseer? By that he meant Bryce? Correct. Though I didn't know that at the time. Naturally, all I saw was a no-name fool spitting hollow threats. And given my newfound status here, I promptly sent him packing. That was a grave mistake. Huh? No more than a week later, I received a mysterious package. It was a small cardboard box. Even stranger, the sender was my hometown. <sighs> when I looked inside, I found a head staring back at me. And it wasn't just anyone's. It was my mother's. <gasps> to uncover my place of birth alone was by no means an easy task. But he'd quickly proven otherwise chose to shove it in my face. And it was then and there I knew what I was up against. And after that, it was side with Bryce or suffer the consequences. Right. Granted, I was always looking for a chance at revenge. Truly, I may have kneeled, but I could never let my mother's death go unanswered. To that end, I went to great lengths selecting men I could trust. There was no knowing what would make its way back to Bryce. And still... That suit, right? Bryce's spies were right under your nose the whole time. So it would seem. Furthermore, Palakana's at the heart of this whole mess. Bryce's spies, they're bred from within Palakana itself. What, like brainwashing? Exactly. He uses his position as sage to influence believers. And once he has their trust, he makes himself their object of worship. Those he lures in follow his every command. Not even death is off the table, long as it's for his sake. You saw that for yourself back at the hotel. Bryce's role as Palakana Sage is everything to him. It's more than just a front, much more. Okay, Bryce is no joke, I get that. But back to my original question. Why the hell is this Lonnie so important to him? Well, I'm not sure. It's like I said before, as far as we know, Dwight and I are only following Bryce's orders. That's not to mention that we rarely receive those from the man himself. However, this time, we did. He told us to find the girl named Lonnie at all costs, and that Akane be with her. He said she was trying to keep her safe. That's all we were ever told, no rhyme or reason. Bryce had given the order, and with that, we had no choice but to follow. Ah, Dwight left that out. In fact, he was pretty vague about things. He told us an unknown client offered him 10 mil and that's it. Hmm. The Overseer's identity is the last thing he'd let slip. Wouldn't you know? He bought his story, hook, line, and sinker. Sneaky bastard. Who knew he was such an actor? Anyway, if this was some rare direct order from Bryce, then Akane-san and this Lonnie girl are special. He wouldn't pull out all the stops otherwise. And that's why you thought Lonnie was Bryce's weak point. Is that right? Yeah. I thought if I could get my hands on her, Bryce would be the one bowing down to me. But I was foolish. 
So we got mafia bosses and casino managers at play. Two grown-ass men with pretty major titles chasing after a kid with no real clue as to why. <sighs> and then there's Akane-san. She must have realized that Lonnie was being targeted. Fair to say, that's why she ran off with her. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Based on this, she looks about ten. That right? Yeah. She's just a kid. Her best hope was someone pulling her from the lion's den. If not for Akane-san, she'd have never stood a chance. Kiryu-san. She needs our help. Right now, it's darkness at every turn for her, and there's no end in sight. She needs someone to show her there's a way out. That there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah. I'm with you on that 100%, Kiryu-san. They have my son, too. Polycana stole him from me. I won't abandon him. Ugh. Now what? From the looks of it, they aren't with me. Ahoy! Wong To! <gasps> we know you're still out there. You're still limping around. Must be fun, eh? Come on and show yourself. I'll fix you right up. It's Yamai. He must have sniffed us out. You saying he works for Polycana too? No. To Yamai, Hawaii's just another rock out at sea. He's nowhere on the Overseer's radar. He's too small time to be. Yeah, and what's he doing here? From where Yamai sits, the Ganja are collapsing. This is the perfect chance to wipe us out. And sure enough, he's taking it. You fellas are here too, yeah? Kasuga, Kiryu-san. Wong To's the main event tonight. Hand him over, and I guarantee you boys will go out in one, maybe two swings. Gee, how generous. Doesn't look like they're coming out, boss. Maybe they scampered off. Nah, not while the Gib's still with them. Unless they've got a stretcher, they're not going anywhere. They're probably skulking around in the shadows. But boss, how the hell do we find him when it's this dark? What? Having trouble seeing? All right, then. Let me get a light. Uh, huh? Uh, oh, allow me, boss. Hey, I don't hear anything. You think they backed off? No way. Your mind would never give up that easily. <sighs> That's for sure. Oh, come on. Well, now, this ought to brighten things. Plus, it's warm. So, two birds, one stone. Cold out here. 
He's out of his mind. We're gonna get fried if we stick around. Let's move! Uh, 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 Kusan! Uh, 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 hurry! It's spreading fast! Thank goodness. We can rest here. Jeez, what took you? Guess we're out of options. Okay, so we take him out. Then what do we do? Not to worry, Chichan. We'll make it out. Tell me. I hope you're ready, pal. Right then. I wonder how you'll handle things this time around, Kazuma Kiryu. Let's see whether the dragon breathes fire or his last breath, shall we? Something fell down! I think it's from one of these trees. Maybe we can use it. It's too hot. The fire is out of control. Yeah, last thing we want is to get too close. That's kicking time! Ready when you are! What's the holdup? Here's the one! Hey! You freak pound me! Oh, oh yeah. yes, thank you! Delivery! Okay, let's do this! Been looking forward to this one! I won't hold that. Well, I'm waiting. Ha! Pretty cold now, huh? Here, I'll fix you up. I'm just not feeling it. Something wrong? Huh? We've got here. Yeah, me! I'll take you on. Prepare yourself! I love being too. Thanks. Let's get it done! Follow my lead. Time to put you down! Follow my lead.
On to the next level. Yes, I'm a fast learner. Son? Yeah, though not for long. If we don't move, we're dead. Huh? We want to leave Wang Tou behind then? There's no way in hell we'll drag him out of here in time. Wait, come on, you gotta help me. Hey, we couldn't even if we wanted to. The only way we're getting out of this is... He's here! Look sharp, everyone! <laughs> Take the wheel, Chitose. Right. Take care of myself. Go! Well, well. Wong To and Kasuga chose to cut and run, eh? All that, and the only thing I'm left with is a dying fossil. You know. There was once a time when I actually looked up to you. What a waste. <laughs> turned off Kiryu-san's phone. GPS really would have helped us out about now. Indeed. Just try to take it easy for now, Kasuga-san. Right. Sorry. From what everyone said, it's best to assume Kiryu-san's been captured. If they'd killed him, there'd be no reason to disable the GPS. Well, hang on. Kiryu-san still could have been dumped out at sea, right? I mean, I'd have shut his phone off real quick. I suppose that's possible, isn't it? Though your inability to read the room is truly remarkable. Huh? Uh, well, I mean, I just thought we should consider all the angles. Tell me, maybe consider shutting up first. Ugh. Kiryu-san wouldn't go down that easy. Still, right now he needs all the help he can get. And fast. Yes. In fact, our search for Akane-san and Lani will have to wait. His rescue should be our number one priority. Huh. I figured you'd say the opposite. You thought I'd write Kiryu off as a pawn and tell you to stick to the mission? It's true. He is being used by the Daidoji faction. However, he simply cannot be replaced. If our mission wants any hope of success, Kiryu-san must be brought to safety. Yamai has probably got him tied up at his hideout. And I think I know just the place. Pretty sure I visited once. Good. This will be quick then. Kiryu-san will be back before we know it. Yeah, well, that's easier said than done. We barely escaped our last battle with that lunatic, remember? And let's not forget that we're down Kiryu-san this time. It's gonna be tough. Hanawa-san, think we can count on you for backup? I get winded just walking up the stairs. Does that answer your question? We'll ask someone else. I can't believe Kiryu-san took orders from this guy.
Oh, hi. Very well. Okay. Hey, Kasuga. Yo, it's your old pal. Hitachi san? Who else? Aloha. <laughs> Care to guess where I am right now? Oh, uh, well, uh, hey, look, I'm happy you called, but I'm kind of busy right now. I don't exactly have time to chat. Oh, figured as much. In fact, I had a pretty big hunch. Huh? Where are you at right now? I'm ready to pitch in, so maybe come get me. I mean it. I'm walking out of the airport. The airport? Wait, in Hawaii? Hey, hey! I'm here too, Ichiban. It's your best buddy, Nanba-san. Hang on a sec. What are you guys up to? You know how boring things get when you're out of work? We figured you might need some help your first time out of the country. So we're here to please. You guys rule! I really, really need your help, like, right now. <laughs> Glad to hear it. You're at the airport, right? Uh, tell you what, how about we meet at the beach instead? Sorry to hit you with the drama straight away, but, um... I'm in a jam with the Yakuza again. We gotta save Kiryu-san this time around. Say what? Now that you're here, I think we might actually have a chance. See you soon. We got our reinforcements. Let's not keep Kiryu-san waiting, huh? You guys are pretty tough, huh? Tougher than us? Trust me, they're the best.
best of the best. Anyway, let's move. I'll fill you guys in later. It. That came out well. What do you want? What's with your face? What you looking at? <laughs>
have to think carefully. You be <laughs> We're just warming up. Let's Your do this. Time it is. Oops. Whoa! I'm so glad we won! Come on, guys! Gather around! Say cheese! What you looking I'm at? I'm feeling great. Ah, your face pisses me off. The hell do you want?
Let's do this! We can learn from each other. You're good, man. Let's go! We can learn from each other. All right! Today's my lucky day. Welcome.
Thanks. I'm all fired up!
Hey. Aloha.
Thanks very much. Aloha! Thank you! Welcome. Excuse me. Yo, Ichiba! <gasps> Nanba! A dodgy son! <laughs> Sorry to keep you. <laughs> you guys are really here! Man, feels like a lifetime since we last saw each hey, other. Come on, it hasn't been that long. What the hell you been doing out here? Better question. Who are the kids, huh? Oh, right. <laughs> uh, let me introduce you. <laughs> this is Chichan and Tony. Yeah, how's it going? We've been duking it out with every gang on the island. Now we're all pals. Hey there. I see. So they're the new party for Hawaii, huh? <laughs> All right, but what's this about gangs? How'd you even get involved in something like that? I thought you were here to meet your mom. Actually, it's kind of a long story. <laughs> yeah, where do we start? I mean, I was born and yeah, raised yeah, and... I think that's going a little too far back. Uh, next time, yeah? Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Kiryu-san's locked up in enemy territory. Give me a sec, and I'll get you guys up to speed. Sure. Sorry to spring that, seeing as you just got here. Uh, this ain't the first time, and sure as hell ain't the last, right? Yeah, what else is new? Sure beats sitting on your ass. Plus, it's for Kasuga. If I gotta get jerked around now and then, so be it. <laughs> well, I told you, they're the best uh, tonight, uh, huh? <laughs> you are right. All right, all right. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we got a dragon to save. Keep that up, I'm gonna have to get some of that poke. 